paying Dak forty million will not kill the Cowboys' cap. So when we talking about Dak Prescott, like Dak Prescott is extremely polarizing to the fans. And it's a lot of worry that's out there because we had an exponentially bad defense. So the sticker shock of 40 million is causing a lot of panic with the Cowboy fans. They they're losing it. And I understand because nobody wants one player to cripple, especially for those who are still under the illusion that Dak is an average quarterback. That has been greatly disproven, but there are still those that have reservations. So when you're dealing with Dak and you're dealing with the cap, you got to understand that it's an illusion. It's, it's fear. It's it's nothing real. And we're going to explain that. We're going to make that crystal clear. So I made it real easy. All you have to do is take a look. And if you take a look, you'll see, especially if you start from 2013, you'll see there's been around a consistent $10 million increase per year on the cap. 2021 is in red. And that's estimated at this point. They haven't announced it yet that it's going to be $185 million. But then there's going to be major spikes. And so we're going to explain everything. We're going to make it real easy. So you can see that it's nothing but fear that's driving the doubters of paying Dak $40 million. So one of the big things is the CBA. It was completed in 2020 but will likely cause a total cap spike in the 2022 total cap. The likely 2021 extra game and extra playoff teams will help the league revenues, but we're waiting on that announcement. So as you can see, we made a quick illustration to point that out because the CBA approved the 17 games and the extra playoffs in 2020, but you likely won't see that implemented until this year, which is 2021. Another major factor is COVID. COVID is exponential because COVID hit America by 2020, but the cap effect from the loss of stadium revenues allocated to the 2021 budget. If it were no COVID, the 2021 total cap would have been approximately 208 million. And again, we go to the graph to illustrate where you see COVID hit. If you start with the year 2020, you will see that it started in 2020, but the cap effect from COVID is going to roll over to 2021. And that's what's happening now. Because the revenues that the stadiums missed was in 2020. But then we come to the big girl. So ESPN Monday Night Football deal expires in 2021. They're literally negotiating it now. It can be announced anytime now. But revenues will likely greatly spike the 20. 22 cap space that's the big boy that's something we gotta actually pause we can't go fast on this because the 40 million would scare you if you don't understand this so one thing that we have that's going to help us is an understanding of president so all we have to do is look back and look at what happened with basketball this is an article from 2015 before the salary cap kicked in the, the new television money and as you can see it was saying a, the exact same things you're hearing now that it's expected to soar 
same verbiage. But if you look at the article now, they're saying the exact same things because it's actually greatly getting ready to happen. And it's going to be easy to just break this down. One thing to look at is the historics. Between 1998 and 2002, the revenues was only $615 million for the NBA. Then it jumped to $765 million between 2002 and 2008. And then it was a small increase from the growth of the NBA between 2018 and 2016. But the new television revenues kicked in in 2016. And look what happened. Exponential spike in the market. That's exactly what's getting ready to happen with football, except it's likely going to even be larger. So according to CNBC, which is obviously financial news, the overall, the NFL could double its annual revenue from NFL media rights from about 7.5 billion to 15 billion. This is an article that's now from 2016. So they went from saying in previous articles that it's getting ready to soar. By the time the television revenues kicked in to the salary caps, the new issue was why are NBA teams signing so-so players to massive contracts and when you look at basketball in relation to football the difference is is astronomical so it's not even close so it's a very big deal when you look at for instance the growth of the nba which again dwarfs the size of the nfl what's going on is you have the streams that's killing the entertainment portion of television just pure entertainment the drama series and stuff like that is killing it so the only thing that was giving you your bang for your current buck is live sports because live sports value is real time it's like watching game of thrones after you watch a rerun everybody already told you what's going to happen and it's lost its value so what's actually still retaining value is live sports so that's why it's important to understand why the nfl is so important and why they have the right and will exponentially spike their cost so <laughs> it's getting ready to get out of control it's getting ready to spike exponentially so here we go again so the espn monday night contract is getting ready to be settled anytime now but when that kicks in those revenues will be for the 2022 season so same thing if you look at the extra 17 well the extra game which is going to make 17 games and a playoff game if we're able to get the COVID-19 under control what's going to happen is you're going to see us return back to filling the stadiums and that's going to happen in 2021 and when that happens in 2021 the revenues from that will affect the cap of 2022 so 2022 gets crazy cbs fox nbc and direct ticket NFL television deals expire in 2022, but the revenues will likely greatly spike the 2023 cap space. That's what's going to change the world. That's when everything is going to exponentially super explode. 
see because remember we brought out and cl clearly showed according to cnbc if you just look at it again remember they said it's expected to double to double that's the revenues so when the revenues double you're going to see the cap spike and so going back to the question what if Dak signs for 40 million as an apy so i'm gonna take a a, a, a second this to say you know if you like the information and content you're hearing this is why you should like follow subscribe and hit that bell when it comes down to following boss cowboy sports this page is full of content to where we're gonna tell you the truth so to answer that question if we were just judging dax contract by average per year that would account for 21 percent of the cap yeah, for 40 million dax is gonna destroy the dallas cowboys he's greedy this son of a b mm -mm. it don't work like that but let me just continue because he, without COVID, the cap hit would have been 19.2%. That cap hit for Dak, if you signed him on an average per year, and we just saying average per year, would be 21% of the total cap. That doesn't mean the actual cap hit, that's, that's the average on this contract. But it gets way better. The new 2021 ESPN Monday Night Football contract control of COVID-19 through vaccines, a potential additional NFL game and expansion expansion of the NFL playoffs are predicted to start the first spike in the NFL cap. An estimated total cap of 250 million from the growth will make Prescott's 40 million on average per year only now 16% of the total cap. And that's just one year later. That's so you got to imagine we're not dealing with a cap that was like from 2013 to 2018, where it only had minimum gains. We're dealing with a totally different period. And this is the beginning of that period. That's what people have to understand. We're in the very beginning of that period. So when you go back and you look and you say, okay, that's not so bad now. That's actually where the average of his contract of 40 million will now only be 16, which is before Aaron Rodgers. That was the average for a franchise quarterback. But then in 2023, it gets way better. By 2023, the CBS, Fox, NBC, DirecTV, and the Monday Night, ESPN, all those contracts will be fully in place. They will also fully account for the increased cost that the NFL is going to incur. So COVID-19, this is the big if. If this happens, it's home free. If COVID-19 is history, it's, it's, it's a done deal. The NFL will have 17 games and in an expanded playoff, so they will be able to charge advertisers more. And so according to CBS, the above factors are likely to double the cap, which will make it approximately around 400 million. Or it's gonna probably be more, but we just saying 400, even if it's less, even if it's more, it's a great spike it's nothing to be afraid of we've witnessed this before we've witnessed the spike the spike is not new it happened it's nothing to be afraid of we've witnessed this so because we we've, we've witnessed this we can intelligently say what's likely getting ready to happen it's really that simple it's really that simple so if we continue now 40 million as an average per year of his contract would now account for only 10 percent of the total cap this is why i call it fear this is why i call it delusion of fear for all the people that's out there 
Oh, Dak, that greedy son of a bee. He's holding up the Dallas Cowboys and being great because he wants his money. That mother effer. No, it's all fear. And guess who also knows this? The Joneses. They know this. They know this better than me. They know this better than you. They knew this was coming seven years ago they was anticipating it especially after 2018 when they started seeing the market shift from drama to live sports they knew the increases in costs was going to increase their revenues they knew that they already knew that it's not bad it's really going to depend more so uh what type of contract Dak signs so if he signs a three for our five-year contract none of it is going to kill the dallas cowboys none of it so a four-year contract is where he would greatly start to lose money and if you want to know more about that i'm going to do another video about that you just going to have to go have to click that and i'm already actually finished the video you just have to click on it and I do a comparison between Tyron Smith and how he lost about $16 million on his team-friendly deal. He's not going to lose exponential money like Tyron Smith. And definitely click on that because it's going to educate you greatly. And I'm going to ask y'all because all of y'all, it's a lot of people that like to hate Dak and say, that greedy son of a bee, that mother effer, he's just... He, he he's not doing what's right for the Dallas Cowboys. He is not helping us out. That mother. Mm -mm. All of that is totally wrong. Totally, totally. So, and it's not going to be even close. So another thing, if he signs a five year contract, Dak, and I'm and I'm also show you this in the next video. All you got to do is also in the description. Make sure y'all go down there and, and click on it. But Dak would lose approximately 27. I'm not going to even tell you the number on this video. You would just have to go watch the next video. <laughs> but in one year, all of these people that's saying, Dak, that greedy son of a bee. Mm -mm. None of y'all love the Cowboys that much to where y'all trying to give them 10, 20 exponential dollars just to be a member of that fraternity. Now, I go do that somewhere else. And so we're going to calculate that. But this did raise questions. I'm going to be all the way honest. I came away once I figured all this out and started doing my research even better. I had questions because a lot of people don't understand that the Cowboys has never N-E-V-E-R never offered Dak a market setting offer ever and people are really acting as if a five year offer is fair like why would he want to do that when his counterparts clearly are are on four-year contracts because that's what this is about this is about what am i receiving based on counterparts that i definitely also know i'm equal or better than and it gets worse it's also the fact that there are pending quarterbacks that will spike the market even more so i ask myself i say dallas what are you doing you have a chance if you stop playing and offer him a deal that's respectable at least offer him a total guarantee that's respectable because if you can sign him even if it's for 40 million it's clear it's not gonna kill dallas it's clear so you just have to stay with the whole presentation to see that but it's it's without a doubt like you can't fight it by year three that we talking about a 10 percent total cap hit and that's just in the third year so all this wolfing and crying it up oh, deck this greedy son of a bee
no and it's out there i know everybody laughing and thinking i'm just playing no i'm dead serious you have cowboy fans that's making silly stuff like this about their quarterback the second point is they're calling him a greedy mofo because they're believing the leaks that's coming from the joneses the joneses are putting out stories basically making it sound as if Dak is being greedy when Dak really just wants to be treated like his counterparts that's really all that's going on Dak just wants to be treated like his counterparts they're getting four years why not me and if he gets a five they could pay him 45 million the math is easy to see and it still wouldn't kill the cap period so all the stuff we put out there hating on our own guy calling him greedy greedy mofo all the stuff we doing we're literally hating our guy for literally nothing so y'all make sure y'all like share and subscribe man this is boss cowboy with boss cowboy sports hopefully y'all took notes and stayed all the way to the end of the video and then go to the description where i'm also doing another video and it's already complete where i compare tyron smith to dax potential loss it's exponential and anybody that's sitting in the category of angry at prescott where you calling them greedy mofo and all the stuff that we doing and this is coming from dallas fans this is not outside this is inside hate that we're doing on our own guy but it's also because of the joneses because when the joneses use their best players and negotiate through the media then you're going to get backlash from the fans who love the team but use this use this youtube use this video to educate those who are sincerely afraid of the 40 million dollar boogeyman it's no boogeyman it's no boogeyman it's it's in your head the numbers are clear the sources are clear the president is clear nothing is going to happen it's going to be peanuts by the time it's 2023 2024 so why not sign him 